Um, our next speaker is uh, Camilla Ferrari, and she is a postdoctoral researcher at um, CIB in Klaus van der Poel's uh, lab. Take it away, Camilla. Hi, can you see my screen? Yes, we can see you. Okay, great, thank you. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you MiniX, and I'm gonna talk about integrative inference of single cell gene regulatory networks in plants. In fact, MiniX stands for Motive Informed Network Inference Method based on single cell expression. So I think we are all uh, aware here of the power of single cell transcriptomics. It was uh, just applied in, in, uh, to plants just couple of years ago, specifically in Arabidopsis, starting with root data sets, because of course it was an excellent issue as many marker, non, uh, many marker genes were, were available. Uh, but we can see that slowly it is uh, expanding to other organs and, uh, and plant species, as we also saw it uh, yesterday and today. And with single cell transcriptomic, we can uh, study the expression of our genes of interest in the different cell types. However, if we are interested in understanding the organization of a specific cell type, gene expression is not enough. In fact, we have to look at gene regulatory networks. So gene regulatory networks are a graphical representation of transcription factors controlling the expression of their target genes. And the building block of a gene regulatory network is a regulon, as it is illustrated here. However, in reality, regulons are a bit more complex than, than this. In fact, usually transcription factors are controlling other transcription factors and also controlling themselves. And this is what a more realistic uh, gene regulatory networks actually look like. Uh, so when we started this project a couple of years ago, uh, we realized that there was a lack of integrated methods uh, uh, validated methods which would integrate multiple data sources to infer robust uh, gene regulatory networks, but also that there was a lack of a fine resolution, such as the one given by the single cell uh, technologies, and also that would be plant specific. Therefore, we uh, decided to, in, to, to develop MiniX, which in fact uh, infers cell type specific gene regulatory networks by integrating gene expression and transcription factor binding information. So it currently supports three model species, such as Arabidopsis, rice, and maize, and infers uh, these cell type specific networks in three different, uh, in three subsequent steps. So uh, during the first step, uh, GRN boost 2 is used to infer uh, the expression-based networks, but uh, as you might uh, know, uh, expression-based networks are, are known to carry many false positives just because Purely target genes are co-expressed with their transcription factors. Therefore, in the second step, uh, MiniX uh, runs an enrichment analysis in order to test whether the putative target genes of the, of the expression-based regulants are enriched for transcription factor binding sites, basically to, to see whether there is an evidence uh, that the transcription factor can bind those, uh, those genes. So uh, during the second step, these expression-based uh, interactions are, fil are filtered to only keep the, uh, the ones supported by transcription factor binding sites. While in the third step, uh, expression uh, is again used, uh, first by looking at the target gene expression. So through another uh, enrichment analysis, um, uh, the, the mini X uh, checks whether the, the, the cell type specific genes of each single cell cluster are enriched for the regular target genes. So as we can see here from the partial filling of the, of the circles indicating the, the level of expression, uh, we can see that some of, the, of those putative target genes are not really uh, specific for the, for the cell types. And therefore those putative uh, target genes will be filtered based uh, on, their, on their expression in the, single cell, uh, in the single cell cluster. And finally, we do a similar uh, thing for the, for the transcription factors level. So again here, we see that this transcription factor is not really expressed within the cell types and therefore will be filtered out. In fact, we reason that in order for a transcription factor to control a specific regulon in a certain cell type, it would need to be expressed uh, by, by a certain amount of cells. So uh, each step 
of mini X was extensively tested for parameter optimization using an interaction goal standard uh, that was obtained by collecting data from ChIP-seq, ESP1 hybrid, and literature related corrections. Uh, and this goal standard was also used to compare uh, the performance of mini X with other existing methods. We first compare it to GRN Boost, which is a purely expression based network that uh, is also used in the first step of mini X, but also to another method, which again, it's 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 another integrative method, but however, it's not plan specific. And we could see that uh, in both cases, mini X outperforms uh, the, the two methods. So uh, we first applied uh, mini X on, um, on a published data set uh, of Arabidopsis taliana roots. Uh, and uh, you can see here, I put some, some numbers that the, the atlas was was quite a quite a big one, uh, comprising fifteen thousand cells, forty one cell cluster, and fourteen cell types. And mini X uh, infers uh, four thousand three hundred forty regulons, describing the interaction for uh, six hundred ninety six transcription factors. So if we see here, this is a cluster map showing the showing the distribution of those regulons across the different cell types, and the color of the cells in, indicates the number of target gene per transcription factors, which are here on the on the y-axis. And here, this is just an example. It's a, a cluster of uh, lateral root cap. Uh, specific uh, regions. But I would like you to focus on this number here so we can, uh, and you can, you can also actually notice that it's a quite a large number of, of inferred regions. And this made us thinking that uh, we should include a prioritization strategies within the, the mini X pipeline. So we started thinking how to best prioritize, prioritize sorry, and transcription factors, which will be relevant for the regulation of a specific organ and condition. And we started listing some characteristics that we, we thought would be important. So as first, the specificity of expression. So if it is really that yeah, specific for, for a certain uh, cell cluster or cell type, then uh, we also thought about some, some 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 measurements that would in, uh, that would in, indicate the importance for the transcription of, of the transcription factor for the network of the specific cell types, and we included some uh, some measurements uh, related to network topology, and finally the functional relevance of the regulants. So basically, what is the function of the target genes controlled by the transcription factor? And we combine those uh, five metrics into uh, weighted board accounts. So board accounts is a, uh, is a metric that is used uh, sometimes in, in election voting, and it's also known as majority voting. And uh, we decided to use a weighted border because we wanted to give um, uh, a higher importance to, uh, to metrics that would perform uh, better. So in order to evaluate this prioritization strategy, we used another code standard that was obtained by collecting genes which uh, had an experimentally validated or manually curated geo annotation relative to roots or vascular system because uh, the, the, the data set that we used for, for testing was uh, in fact root. And what mini X does uh, by default within the pipeline tests all possible metric combination and chooses the one that returns half of the relevant regulon the earliest. So here I reported an example where uh, the border counts is in, is in brown. And we can see that uh, border returns half of the expected uh, regulons around 300 uh, ranks earlier than the uh, best uh, single performing uh, the, the best performing single metric which is the cluster specificity and here uh, just a, a example uh, just to say one glabra two i think everyone knows that it's an important regulator for for a trichoblast and it is in fact uh, ranked earlier by border than by cluster specificity uh, here uh, just an overview of the top 150 regulars uh, and I'm showing the, the expression specificity of each regulus as we saw that it actually it is it is an important metric for, for the prioritization uh, strategy. And if we look at, for example, like the, the steel cluster, including pericycle, phloem, and potassium, we can see that many known uh, regulators are popping within the, the top 150, such as OBP2, 3, PR1, 2, Apple, 
And similarly was uh, for lateral root cap with very skill one and two and other um, se uh, several VND uh, transcription factors in the, in the side. So this was a nice proof of concept saying that, okay, we, re we, we managed to show that uh, mini X was able to return known uh, root biology within the top inferred regions. This was great, was nice proof of concept, but of course we are interested not in finding what, uh, what is already known, but actually find novel biology. So to test this, uh, we collected data from the ROG was database in order to find genes which uh, are linked to root-related phenotypes. And out of the 25 transcription factors that we collected, 15 were, uh, were showing to, to appear uh, regulating at least one of the regulums inferred, and actually four of them uh, were within the top 150. And we can see by the color here on top that some of them were already known to be related to roots, but some other, for example, this PZIP6, which is in gray, are completely uh, unknown. Uh, so this shows that mini X returns novel biology within the top infer regulants, but more importantly, that it can be used to prioritize uh, promising candidates for, for functional characterization study. So to wrap up, uh, today I showed you MINI-X, which is an integrative method that uses single cell gene expression and transcription factor binding information to infer cell type specific gene regulatory networks that can be used to prioritize promising candidates for functional, character functional characterization studies. That it is available, uh, it is specifically designed for plants and it's available for three species. And yeah, it's available here and uh, I would be very happy if you're interested in, in testing. And then, thank you. Great. Thank you, Camilla. We have some questions in the chat. So first of them is from uh, Ken Birnbaum. He's asking if you were able to do any proof of concept on regulators and then known targets. Yeah, so this is something that we are uh, that it's ongoing. Uh, so we are collaborating with a, with a group uh, within VAB to try to validate some of those uh, uh, top, top ranking regulations. So hopefully we will have some, some nice results soon. Great. Then a question from uh, Fabia Gomez. Um, hi, Camilla, exciting talk. Have you tried to compare the performance of MiniX without the TFBM data or with VEGs as the gold standard? Uh, I'm not sure I got uh, I got fully the, the question. So you mean like by, by I mean, if you mean by um, excluding the transcription factor binding enrichment, uh, no, I haven't, uh, but also because it's, yeah, a part that we, we think is one of the, the, the main strength of the method. So yeah, no, I hope that was the question. I, I think it might have been. Um, then question from Olivia Wilkins. Hi, Camilla, great talk. What was the in degree for regulatory targets? Uh, where, where most regulants, sorry, where most regulants defined by one or few TFs? Uh, okay, I looked at this uh, some time ago and uh, I had to kind of like uh, put back the, the memory. Uh, so it, it really depends on the, on the cluster uh, because of course, like smaller, smaller cell, Smaller cell types would would have by, by let's say default less uh, less regulons, uh, and since we are we are enriching enriching for um, for cell type specific uh, genes, uh, the in degree I, I would expect to be quite high since it it is a certain number of, of genes that we are looking at, since we are filtering for for these uh, upregulated genes within each uh, cell cluster. But I will have to look uh, again to have like a clear, clear number. Okay. Uh, next question from uh, Lisa van den 
uh, Rook. Um, Camilla, great talk. Maybe I missed it, but how do you infer the expression networks before filtering? How do you incorporate the single cell data? Yeah, so the, the first one is a pure uh, yeah, expression based, which and we are using a Jiren Boost 2, uh, as it was shown also to be one of the, the best performing expression based uh, methods for for gene regulatory network inference also in single cells. And the, 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 the integration of single cell comes in the, in the third part. So in, in the third step, when we actually take those uh, expression-based regulons enriched for transcription factor binding sites, and then we enrich them again for, uh, for the cell type specific genes. Okay, and then um, one more question uh, from Taras Pasternak. Uh, very great talk. Have you tried to integrate your data with epigenetic regulation in situ? Uh, no, uh, but it's actually a nice, uh, like a good idea that we might uh, look into in the future. Thank you. All right, and... Um, Thank you. Thank you, Camilla. Thank you. Thank you, all of our speakers from this session.